congratulations. Welcome to the countdown. Welcome to the countdown. Welcome to the countdown. Ready? 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 and welcome to a brand new social media top 10 countdown no jesus christ i'm tired why did i decide to do that just now i am so so tired but hence who i have wolipa topics to talk to now about wolipa excitement wolipa things and on the infia treat so just sit down relax and enjoy the countdown <laughs> no they don't pay me enough for this you know jesus the dusty are the berry, yeah, the juicy are the scoop. All the things are going on, they're missing on the news. Tell your sister and your auntie, said the corner not coming soon. All the drama, what you want, you can tune into the youth. Like, yo, hey, box cover, and cover all the topics like an evening. Pot cover, mix up, blender, all them. Suck me, I will have me not a week, yo, just tune in. Zin. Number 10, Buju new tune. My word, my sentence, my paragraph. So, Buju Bantan, the Gargamel is back at it again with a new sound, a new flow, and a whole different energy. So, he dropped the, the, his, his, his new single that is called Trust and People It Shell, 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 Shell. New style, new style, new flow, new flow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, man. I think nobody did expect this here type of um, flow from Buju Bantan right about now. Everybody I expect it. It's not an easy road. I mean, this is the glamour and the glitter and the cabeta rose in it. Big it up. Let me see you. Uh, in this in the song there? I <laughs> <Me never> remember. <laughs> But the new sort of energy here and delivery here, it just seemed different for the Gargamel. And it actually kind of won. Trust man, we switch down for your Nike. Six months in general, I know him say I'm mine. So the song basically attacks that he not really trust the whole phone thing. Because you know, people are use phone for the all kind of little unscrupulous type of things. And try to go around you and kind of set you up in a certain way. And me think that people can definitely resonate with the message right about now. But... Everybody talking about this new flow and the new energy, but to me, and you know, no disrespect, it kind of reminds me of one of my um, favorite dancehall artists, them, Baby Sham. Something about the flow is like me, I get a, a Sham, Baby Sham, um, get a story type of delivery. Something about it when him do that. Just phone, me no own, me no like it Love on your sit down and wine from your head You want the book count So for me, let me get full of your sun vines now to Watch you grow I remember when we run But I get him knee blown I'm my best friend And I'm on the banner in the one I will long cap on And the little fine voice, me no know I mean one, how you think say A little sham flow kind of in there too But I don't know, either way the song still sh slap away I'm sure it's a this. I'm going to be running the place for the Christmas into 2020. So let me know what you think about um, Buju Bantan's new song, Trust, down below. Trust phone, me no own, me no like it. Number nine, Elephant It. Me go go peas, me shizzle my nizzle. So, Elephant Man, boy, yeah, boy, I forgot to say one of my other favorite artists. Them, like, to, to me, me not think that Elephant Man can do no wrong. Like, all when Elephant Man and 90 more officers Elephant Man on the stage, I say, shizzle my nizzle, the girl are dead over me. Me and my crew. Yes, same way. So Elephant uh, Man, you know, he's been, you know, trying to, you know, they have an interview with him earlier this year. And he said, basically, he might come wicked for them, you know. And it looked like he's living up to his words. So he dropped this single that is called Find It. And they mentioned it on the countdown, say, you know, it have a buzz and it is going on. So now him dropped the, the video. And when me tell him, I said, people, me not going to lie, but the video, it, 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 it just, me don't know, it's like, me don't have to shed a little tear, you know, man. Because when me just to see Elephant Man in an element, you know, the Elephant Man we you grew up with, with a new little 20, 20, 2019 swag, it just, it can't. And so it starts out with a whole little Spartan speech. And when me hear the brother say, dancers, I couldn't believe, like, me hear the little RDX Spartan, me say, boom, dancers. <laughs> dancers. 
Sirs, we have a problem. So then, you know, he's going about the place to try to find the last dancehall city with all the dancehall stars. And along the way, he buck up some mini me type of person. And that was a good little, um, you know, segue in the video. And then the song just kind of took over. And the, the, the beauty about it is that he brought back a lot of the legendary dancers. So you had people in there like um, John Ike. Like when last we see John Ike. Of course, you had um, Kiva. The dancing diva now, it is just so good for Kiva in there. Like, I love Kiva from a long time, from the party asylum days and for Sikiva and Elephant Man. Back together, that was a nice little moment. You have Daima in there, so Miss um, Pasa Pasa, Egg Tom Split and Beer kind of thing, she was there. You have Kimiko Versatile, you have Lati in there, and you have um, Shelly Belly. And I'm sure one bag of other dancers there, my friend. Uh, me no tell you no the place I got turn up back again. Elephant man with the energy again. Dance out again. What them no dance from when? Okay, so here one. They actually audition to be a part of the video. But, you know, I think, you know, Elephant Man team, they just decide to make the final cut of the video. But, you know, my little producer, director link, and, uh, you know, show me the little footage that I was a part of before I was taken out. So, I'm going to share it with you. Free. Move to the right, to the left, and stop. Jump it again, select. Turn it up till it up. Make we dance up with me, because I don't know. You know what I'm done? Do like a knife and cut. Moments of silence fitted the broke shot. You know me. Take it to them. Take it to them. <laughs> Got a berry. So let me know what you think about Elephant Man's music video. Find it. Number eight, Hannah hits me. Why, oh, yo, no, this is something that you definitely do not have want to see. But why, your boy, I think she's met in an accident one time. Um, I'm gonna mention that from my countdown. And no, for God's sake, this little situation, they kind of mm -mm, my heart will not hard go on. So, um, Lisa Hannah Miss World 1993 posted this video on her Instagram. Well, I guess when she was walking around the Sentan constituency, and this little situation kind of you know it happened. <laughs> No, oh wow, no, Jesus beam, no. <laughs> you know what? Well, if people basically did kind of concern in the comment section and say, oh, she's so careless and she must pay attention. But in all honesty, it's a human thing. Like, we all have these moments sometimes when they depend on the road or you yeah, consider some things, you know, really aware of your surroundings um, all of the time. And luckily, it wasn't faithful, fa fatal. But boy, oh boy, the way she get like a hit behind the look of grace or slow motion type of thing where it was just like, ah. You know, when Beyonce said, ah, ah, ah. Yeah, that's the way they kind of feel like, like, uh-huh, uh, maybe it's Maybelline, ooh, Herbal Essence, check out my, ooh, my hair, Lisa Hunter, ooh, Miss World, you're so beautiful, ooh, you get a hit, and you didn't even make an ugly face, you were just like, uh-huh, uh. <laughs> But I'm actually, I have a, a clip of Lisa Hannah because our team here started at Dutchberry Studios. Um, we are actually quite on it, so we're able to get an interview with Miss Hannah. Miss Hannah, are you there? Thanks for having me, Barry. So I posted the video on my page recently. I thought it was just a fun thing to do to share with my fans online. As you may know, I'm actually the uh, the member of parliament for Southeast Saint Anne. And so while conducting my often, you know, I often traverse the neighborhood, I encountered a situation, but. I'm very used to being hit on, so it was nothing for me. As you saw, I caressed the car with my beauty, with my looks, and with my style and flair. Okay, thank you. That was my was my chat with the lovely Miss Lisa Hannah. <laughs> so let me know, Berridos, what do you think of this situation? Comment down below. Number seven, strange sightings. Me, what the box food is this? So now, me never know if you describe this video. So this video just started to circulate all over social media with this couple. I guess them find love in the middle of the road and they decided to just put everything on display. Take a look. Hey, 
Oh, um, uh, well, um, I guess, you know, everybody can find love. I'm sure some people probably feel very bad, man, and jealous right now. So them two people there, yes, they're human beings as well, um, have found love and, you know, are sharing it with their world. PDA on full force. And, yeah, the girl kind of look kind of, you know, like, maybe she just look young, I would hope. Because, yeah, kind of... Yeah, the situation they wouldn't too write it, but um, I guess you know they found love in a hopeless place. That's what Rihanna would have said. <laughs> what do you think about this couple burritos? You bad man? You jealous? <laughs> Sound off below. Number six, Donia demands respect. Me JOP. So, um, dancehall artist I Donia was performing in Trinidad recently, and in the middle of him performance, he decided to make certain things known. <laughs> But from 2005 till now, lyrically in a dancehall music, I do not have five scars that are the two baddest star artists. And more of my fans that will start talk and stand up for the thing. I know it's a fortune that you have a bad artist. Any lyrics me DJ in a studio, we can DJ on stage. I'm going to show you something. Squeeze up the chica, and the cigar down. Clap one of your hand and the one of your head in chica down. Oh, okay. Um, you know, me did have a say, mm, but you know, me think the brother is actually, is, is this very right. If you're a dancehall artist, you're supposed to think of yourself as the best. And you're supposed to, you know, be proud of the work and kind of look back on your catalog and say, you know, say, I've been doing the work. And he's been in the industry for over 10 years. But I don't know, he's one of them people that he was so underground for so long that people never really put him in at that top layer of conversation until they really stop on meds and say, yo, you know, say, I don't have been consistently producing and making hits and been at it more than Wally for other performers. And so I, I feel like it wasn't until they dropped the yeah, 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 where I don't really came into mainstream in a full, full way. And then you just like take over. And since then, it's like now people are looking up on online work now and I say, yo, I don't know, is legit one of the top, top, um, top contenders in the dancehall space. So... I definitely think same have some merit to thinking say him and cartel basically up there. What do you have to say um, in the comments below? I want to hear talk. <laughs> Number five, Popo Sachet. Me, Marka Marka. <laughs> so um, this video now took over the, the place. Um, why? Well, well, recent. And I guess it's saw, uh, you know, some policemen pull over um, a group of men, you know, in a car. Um, and uh, this is what transpired. Pre. Oh, okay. Um, okay. So you know, you get the impression that there was a lot of yes, hunty heart in the ear, but um, the situation got a little bit more um intense as the minutes went on in the video. Policeman say, come on, this one. Policeman say, you must. Me, <laughs> Outside, more of this one. I'm me. I'm not gonna lie, watching the video was kind of like a bit kind of um, because a part of me was wondering why the policeman decided to record the whole entire incident. Because to me, and let me just say if I can't talk, I have the freedom for kind of talk right now, like, I just want to give me my two cents. For me, I think when you have like, you know, groups of people and the situation that exists in Jamaica, and I just feel, say, yo, what is this video for? Is it just to kind of, for scandal or for excitement? Or does it serve a real purpose thinking, say, maybe the police felt threatened and then they just want to cover them grown? But if it was just for just like the calices and stuff, I think so that might not have been the best thing for the police officers to do um, if you're going to put these individuals, you know, like life um, at danger. And then proceeded to like twerk on a phone call while talking to the police and it was just one entire mess. Like, why oh boy? What do you have to, to say about this video burritos sound off below? <laughs> right about now it's time for the big up segment. Well done. Before the girls and sexy and Sing along. Well then, pick up the so first I have to go and big up dancehall artist Spice on the launch of her 
spicy talk show. Yeah, man, this first episode is definitely going with a bang with. Spicy topics where I cover the topics that are real to us. Never I tell a lie, I'm coming here and come see and watch it all the while. You never hear me I'm going to tell you. You never hear me, I'm going to tell you. Never me, you're afraid. Also, I forgot big up Shensi on hitting 2 million followers on Instagram as well as our brand new care. We should get new tint and all kind of excitement. Boy, I'm just hoping she don't blind the people in my road. And also, I forgot big up to the Chinese military band and you know, playing toast to the Jamaican delegation in China recently. Yeah, man, it was a cool little vibe and yeah, coffee, boy, you're large. And also, I forgot big up Delando Coley and dropping his new single called Island Girl is a definitely a good little groovy song where you can kick back and just ease away, you know? Check it out, people. Yes, Island Girl, won't you come and rock my world? Sweet Jamaica, smile, my girl. Come on, me out and embrace this boy. Oh, I sing, yes, Island Girl. And also, if you don't know, every Sunday I'm dropping an interview on my YouTube channel around like 6.30. So make sure so you're there. Now, last week I interviewed triplets. Triplets, yes, Jamaican triplets. They go by the name of Trips ENT. And here's a little clip of the conversation. I mean, I encourage you for just like, swipe up here, so And go and check out the full interview. I write about now there's over 20,000 views. And so, I can't tell you how much I appreciate you of the support. That, oh no, actually, I give me a strength with the other content outside of just the social media countdown. Big up for the self burritos, my love to the max. One who's yeah. always late. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the girl is off the group. Yeah, <laughs> yeah man, if you want to know about mix up, picks up, picks up, freaks up, all freaks up, right that's like there. Mix up media. It's all about the dirty media, social media countdown. You ready? Number four, bombastic boss. My word, my sentence, my wow, it wasn't me. So Shaggy, you know, international star, you know, Shaggy recently came under fire you know by you know some of the media houses after you know a publication was what was made that would suggest that basically he didn't hand over the hundred million dollar that you know that was um put together from the, the shaggy and friends charity concert me never really want to talk about this now because this just seemed like one bag of me so me thinks so i just said over but you know i guess me have to just kind of going so basically the newspaper they kind of put out a headline that would suggest that i know but bustamante don't hear about the hundred million where shaggy did raise so to many people that say wait what going on with shaggy look like him and rustle off the money to himself that is what people that feel and um shaggy after the whole little mermaid thing he came to jamaica had a um i guess a, a press concerns are whether or not these funds that we, we earmarked for the icu if you remember that the ICU, when we did the last concert, it says, I see you at bust at, at Shaggy and Friends for the ICU. I had this idea that since we only have five beds in the ICU for the whole of Jamaica, maybe we can increase it to 10. And we set up a goal and we made 100 million. But let's face it, 100 million dollars not going to be the ICU. One bed is 150,000 dollars. One. But one of the hardest parts about this whole entire situation was when he mentioned that what his daughter said to him. I was in a bad move coming up. My little nine-year-old daughter come to me and said, Daddy, I know where you're going to meet I, to tell him that you didn't steal the money. <laughs> that leaked my heart. That's my nine-year-old. No, I'm not like That would have connected me more than on. That would have boxed me down and just made me feel bad. And I have to just come in, Shaggy, if he, you know, like... You know, handling the situation in the manner that he did because if I did some people would I just get out and forget about the children them. But I'm glad to see that, you know, him keeping him focused and ensuring say them get the care and the resources that they need. That is from, from them. The money has been in their account. We never touch the money, we never move with the money, we never carry it away. The money has been there the whole time, it's earmarked. Mm -hmm. Let me know what you think about this whole entire situation. What do you think Shaggy should have done? Do you think he handled himself well or what do you have to say to the media hosts that I guess might have blown up the entire situation? Sound off below. Number three, Brockman Shawan. <laughs> so Instagram personality Dino Crazy released his, way to call this now, we know the Trinidad song was say, um, Gunman in the ocean like that. You know, recently somebody told me said that is basically to the same melody of the Christian song. I am going home on the morning train. 
I am, and all of a sudden, I think I kind of feel like a whale singing back the song. We say, gunman in shit. Yeah, something about that just kind of. But anywho, so Dino Crazy dropped his remix um, to the song, and it is called Brockman in She. Take a look. Baby, um, I'm not from Tivoli because I'm not a bad man. Okay. Um, and the work, it kind of fluctuates. Uh, so, I bet the body, I do Broke man in she hole, 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 she like that. Broke man in she hole, she like that. Broke man in she hole, broke man in she hole, broke man in she hole, she like that. We know the money, we know the money, we know the money. <laughs> Let me know what Barry does. What do you think of this remix? So now below. <laughs> Number two, steer master. Mini cup. So let me just tell you this. You know, say Fontana, they have one new Fontana where they're near the Mega Mart, just you know, like in a Kingston roundabout there near the Canadian Canadian Embassy. So I didn't kinda get for good here, I never get for good to launch, but I went there um about a few days ago. I'm not gonna lie, look nice and passion, look very foreign, you know. Um upstairs, downstairs and all of them because something there, I like the little layout. It look you know, it looked like something you just want to walk around all the way broke. You just want to walk around and take two pictures up there. So, you know, I guess one of the attractions there is the escalator. And it's a good thing, you know, like I don't really trust escalator from traveling days because me one of them people that we up an escalator, me have to kinda stop, count like, alright, yeah, one foot, then next, alright, just stay there so bill and just make it just ascend, relax, ascend. Relax, you know, I have to focus, you know, when I'm on an escalator. I'm not fancy like that to make I run up and down and, you know, drop and all kind of thing and shank my ankle. No, I'm not that skill. So, this lady now looks like she make her first visit to Fontana. Um, and, you know, she attempted to get upstairs, but in order to go upstairs, you have to go up an escalator. And she, you know, look like she should really kind of understand the maths and the science behind it. Pre. <laughs> No, that lady is me trying to move out of my parents' house for five years. <laughs> <laughs> that lady is me trying to finally get a six pack, you know, abs for the past ten years. <laughs> that girl is middle class Jamaica. I try to cut down on them latte so them can pay for the twenty one million dollar studio. <laughs> What do you think about this burritos? Are you able to, you know, use the escalator? Or are you as awkward on it like this lady? Sound off below. That Jesus carried a cross, no? no. Some girl I carry crosses. <laughs> And number one goes to B Clot Enough! <laughs> my word, my sentence, my paragraph, my essay, my bibliotheca. So, boy, if you never hear the one year something is wrong with you, you need to make sure you stay on top of things on social media. So, this little clip started circulating, making the rounds, um, and it featured a uh, Endomali student, the valedictorian, by the name of Waldine Walker, making him speech, but when he kind of closed things out, he dropped the mic in quite an epic way. Pre. And by the way, this is the only time you're gonna hear a little kind of curse word which kind of get to like that because it has to do with the story. <laughs> Pre. I am honored to be the valedictorian of the graduating class of 2019. Congratulations. You all did it. Big up on a blood clot cell. No, don't tell me say a real life this. Is real life this? We just saw what say a while ago. This is 2019 graduation speech in a Jamaica. <laughs> so, you know, the first to the video, me the just kind of shocked and the little skittle part in me was just like, Ray, boy, lad. But then the little, um, the little, you know, prudish UPT partner was just like, oh my gosh, that boy has the gall to say something like that at an institution like that in a space like that. How dare he? <laughs> 
utter rubbish. <laughs> so the two different sides of me just there, you know, conflicting, trying to kind of wonder like, where do I feel um, and how do I feel about this situation? When me go on Twitter now, some people never did take too kindly. One girl actually, you know, stepped out and I say, they must step back in degree and all kind of things and all the people vexed about it and things say, it was some low level type of behavior. Me no know, you know, me no, me no know. You know, the big ladies know, all me I think about the same vice kind of sound like DJ Nicholas. You know, when DJ Nicholas are preach, what kind of church is this? You know, when the youth are giving speech, man, the little same little, you know, like run out of breath type of DJ Nicholas vice mixing with little Martin Luther King, I have a dream. This is just a quick encouragement. Be you for the kingdom of God. 19. Congratulations. You all did it. <laughs> we just did like how oh, the brother, when he delivered the thing, he just did so emotional and him they just caught up in at the moment, etc, etc. And it seemed as if the, the graduating class did actually, you know, love him and connect with the, the, his closing remarks. But back to the, the, the situation at hand, this whole um, video, it once again reignite this whole Patois debate where people are wondering if we should really embrace the Creole language, what kind of spaces should it be allowed, um, how do we treat it, do we um, you know, discriminate against its users, all, all kind of things. And for me, I don't really use curse words, quote unquote curse words or expletives, I think so almost really put um, so much power upon certain words. And for me, I would give this brother a pass because what I'm understanding is that he's a Creole actor and it is the end of manly um, institution where it's more of an open space when it comes to thinking about things outside of the box and not in the usual confines that, you know, we tend for box things in society. So in that creative, open um, expression, full one word goes so, space, I think it could be allowed and be considered okay because what we understand is that the speech was very emotional and it was a build-up and he wanted to use his Jamaicanness. Um, with a term, with an expression that would definitely resonate with Jamaicans. In the same way how Obama used Wagwan Jamaica when he was at UAE, um, you know, a few years ago. Greetings, Massive. Hey. Wagwan Jamaica. You all did it. Big up on a blood clot cell. Sorry for the profanity. Okay, well, that's it. I'm sure Uno are going to have like, mixed opinions down there. Send in the comment section. I'd love to hear your thoughts about this whole situation. So just sound off below. Well, that is it, Burritos. We've come to the end of another social media countdown. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button. Yes, man. Hit the like because I will if I want to watch a video and do not want to like. Much less, may I tell them, please, to leave a comment down there. So let me know what was your favorite part of the social media countdown. Do not itch me know. Up on the live, right? If you really watch on the live, still leave your comment down below. And also, if you're new to the channel, to just hit the subscribe button. I know you want to see more awesome videos like this. So once you hit the subscribe button and turn on the post notification, you will be able to see whenever I post to so follow me on social media it is at Dottie Bear Show on Facebook Instagram Twitter uh, what else may I leave out <laughs> Snapchat and to email me to, for promotions in the countdown or promote me anywhere it is Dottie Bear Show at gmail.com so take care until next time <laughs> The dusty or the berry, yeah, the juicy or the scoop. All the things are going on, it missing on the news. Tell your sister and your auntie, said the corner coming soon. All the drama where you want, you for tuning to the youth.